Hello everyone, it's time for another episode of The Legend of Korra. We're on episode 8 today. The episode is called When Extremes Meet. And the last episode was even crazier than the previous episode before that. And I just, you know, what's going to happen today? Let's find out. Hope you guys enjoy. Welcome to Air Temple Island, your new home. What's that fuzzy creature? That is a fire ferret, an arboreal mammal common to the base. He's cute! <laughs> oh, I thought you were only bringing a few things. Trust me, it could have been worse. I think that is a few things to her. You're pretty. Can I have some of your hair? <laughs> and that's the temple Grandpa Aang built. And that's the greenhouse where we grow the vegetables we eat. Grandpa Aang. Milo, why don't you go with the boys too? We shall meet again soon, beautiful woman. He's great. Ethan, I will take you to I saw me. Did you know Cora likes Mako? <laughs> Can we see that again? So. Oh, well, now this is awkward. <laughs> Beifong's replacement, Sai Khan, is going to be inducted as the new chief of police later. I think we should both be there. It is with great humility that I take her place as the new chief of police. There is one man who has been effective against Amon's revolution Councilman Tarlock. I will report directly to him. They're infiltrating. What is that weasel snake Tarlock up to now? Dismantling from the inside. He's getting all his people in power. Tarlock, I don't know what you did to get Chief Sycon in your pocket. Oh, Tenzin. Always the conspiracy I'm theorist. I'm the conspiracy theorist right now. Avatar Korra. Long time no see. Now that your little pro-bending distractions are over, I look forward to your return to my task force. Oh, even if he's not with them, he is a weasel and a snake. You need me, but I don't need you. I'm the Avatar. You are merely a half-baked Avatar in training. How is your airbending going? Made any significant progress with that? What is this guy's problem? If you will not be part of my task force, then you had best stay out of my way. What the hell? Cora, you're the Avatar. I need you to join my task force. And now, oh, you're just half-baked. I'm a failure. No, you're not. You just need to work through this airbending block. Have you ever made contact with your past lives? No, I'm a spiritual failure too. You may have made a connection without realizing it. Maybe. I had a few weird hallucinations. I believe Aang's spirit must be trying to tell you something. Aang. Guess it's gonna be a while before we get to see her talk to him. Are you okay? I'm the worst avatar ever. I just feel alone. You mean avatar. Look, the arena might be shut down, but we're still a team. The new team avatar. We got your back, Korra. And we can save the city together. Yeah, let's do it. Team Avatar. Yeah, let's do it. Gross. <laughs> I figure one way to fight equalists is to use an equalist weapon. Let's ride. All right. Where are we going? What are we doing? Oh, we need an air bison. I think I have the answer. Or a car. <laughs> a little bit less exciting. You think this will do? I like the new team avatar style. This is they are their own thing. Let's let's get that straight. This is not Aang's team avatar. But that's okay. My dad had police scanners installed in all of his cars. Jailbreak at headquarters. Officers down, electrocuted. Chi blockers and equalist convicts are still at large, armed and dangerous. But if we had an air bison, hear me out. Give me a ramp, now. And we wouldn't have this. Ooh, the lightning, Ugh. I guess they weren't supposed, they weren't allowed to use lightning in um, the pro bending matches maybe. Then 
feel good, does it? Go team Avatar. Avatar Korra, what do you think you're doing? Fighting against the Equalists. If it wasn't for team Avatar, they would have gotten away. And Tarlock this probably would have been Stay out happy. Of my way. Because they were probably supposed to escape. Am I being too conspiracy theorist? <laughs> the law I have proposed would make it illegal for anyone to be a member of the Equalists. It also puts into effect a curfew, ensuring all non-benders are in their own homes by nightfall. What? You can't punish all non-benders for the actions yeah, of Yeah, what the hell? If you're gonna do a curfew, put it on everyone, bender or non-bender. No. All in favor? Put your Hello? What is wrong with you people? That's gonna just make more people join the Equalists. Oh. Oh. Equalists have taken to the streets. Consider them armed and dangerous. I call front. Oh no. <laughs> now Asami's gonna be jealous and paranoid. All non benders, return to your homes immediately. Yeah, as soon as you turn our power back. Mommy, look, it's the Avatar. Please help us. You're our Avatar too. But how long is that gonna be the case? Tarlock. He's driving a wedge, a huge wedge between all non-benders and benders. You don't have the right to treat these innocent people like criminals. This is an equalist rally. They're just normal people who want their rights back. They are the enemy. Round up all these equalists. No, Tarlock, you stupid. Either he's really smart to divide people like this or he's the most idiotic person ever Ugh. what hello what are you doing you're under arrest what why you can't do that she's a non-bender out past curfew and her father is a known equalist conspirator let her go arrest him and his brother Tarlock! it's not worth it don't worry, I'll call Tenzin. He can get you out. Oh, this makes me so mad. This isn't over, Tarlock. Oh, I believe it is. Take them away. Screw this guy. Three of Avatar Korra's friends were wrongly arrested tonight. They were interfering with police business. They'll be freed if and when the task force <sighs> deems they are no longer a threat. You're officially the worst chief of police ever. Calm down, Cora. <laughs> I'll get this sorted out. We just need to be patient. No. But can't you be really patient. are the worst. <laughs> ever. <laughs> Tenzin, I love him. I love him so much. <laughs> I'm I'm even wondering if this has anything to do with benders or non-benders. I think it's just people that want power and they're using this to elevate themselves. They're getting all these innocent people involved. Wait for me here, girl. And creating Don't a problem worry, where right. there wasn't one, or taking a small problem and turning it big. Like there, there probably was things that benders and non-benders. You and I need to talk. It could have been better between them, but. Leave us. That's a really cool thing that he's got behind him. You're doing exactly what Amon says is wrong with benders. You're using your power to oppress and intimidate people. Isn't that what you came here to do? Intimidate me into releasing your friends? That's what I admire about you, Cora. Your willingness to go to extremes in order to get what you want. Yeah. It is a quality we both share. And what do you, you want? You and I are nothing alike. Tarlock. You're just as bad as Amon. What if he is a mon? What in the world is happening? Still think I'm a half baked avatar? Jeez, I think she's going too far.
Maybe this is exactly what he wanted. He, he is looking a little scared though. He can blood bend. Be removed. Oh, he's good. It's not a full I was gonna moon. ask, is it a how, full moon? How are you doing this? What are these flashbacks? Where are you taking me? Somewhere no one will find you. What? So Aang and them, they they dealt with something similar in the past. Whoa. I really don't know what to say. I mean, I, I pretty much think that I've said most of what I'm thinking about during that episode, but just to recap, fuck, I can't even get it straight in my head. Okay, so Tarlock is making things worse. So whose side is he on? Is he on Amon's side? Has he been working with him the whole time as well as um, Sato? I think that's a possibility. I The first time that we met Tarlock, I thought that that was a possibility. Either that or he's really freaking stupid. But I don't think he is. I think he's very smart and cunning and powerful. He's a bloodbender. And he doesn't even need the full moon to bloodbend. What's up with that? He has a strength, a power that's unexplainable, just like Amon. I thought he was working for Amon, but I think he might be Amon. Remember when Korra went to meet with Amon at that Aang statue thing? And Tarlock was like, don't worry, we'll have police like watching as soon as something happens, we'll be right there to help. And then there was nobody there to help her when Amon came. Very suspicious, but maybe he is Amon. Not just working for him, but is. Either way, whatever is the case, I'm intrigued. I'm very intrigued. And he is doing a really great job of, he's starting to get normal people that probably didn't have any issues with benders to have issues with benders. He is forcing them to sympathize with Amon and Amon's cause. This is, this is very intriguing. Okay, I think I have food that I need to eat. But anyways, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.